Interesting. Gonna be All right, here we go. So, for everybody that just tuned in, welcome to the second match for today, which is Nice Guys versus Tenga. I'm not gonna tell you the full name of Tenga because it's too long for me to remember right now. But we will be facing Psy, Sakan, Sonabuzo, and Tenga, and sees Almighty Sheep brought justice on Nice Guys. As for my predictions, I seem to be wrong because Rod Justice is on Assault instead of Support. So, the rest seems to be very accurate from what I expected. Quick entry from Sakan, very aggressive push here. We have quick encounters on the parking lot going down. Sakan taking out two people right this instant, facing a similarly aggressive assault like Psyche was in the last match. Psy finishes off, first round already going through. This didn't even take a minute. There seems to be some weapon switching going on from what I saw, I think? Actually, no. Sakan seems to have... Uh... I'm not sure if t weapon trading actually happened. It just looked like Sakan actually had the SRM from the start. Not this round, however. No weapon trading yet. Yep. So regardless of this sudden stomp, the team lineups didn't change from either side. Sonabuzo going in very aggressively, already on the other side nearly, waiting to pick somebody off. In the meantime, yeah, in the meantime, the nice guy seems to seem to be a bit more passive here, not leaving their half, just getting run down with the aggressive force. Yeah, Tenga pushing the East Alley. Sakan is just going through, finding them one by one. Son of Uzu just flanking once more, picking off Rod. It's very interesting to see both extremes clash here, where whereas nice guys seem to be very reserved and quite slow, we have Tenga just running through, picking them off, finding the locations of them, and then have the others that are not currently seen just flank them right away. It's quite devastating too, two rounds in, and we have nice guys not even picking off a single person, zero points on their end. Whereas Tenga already is on three corporals, Sakan already close to being a sergeant here. Sakan already pushed up to the ghost, first contact made. C is now actually being more aggressive here, pushing onto... Oh, never mind, the push seems to be backfiring here. Did hurt to uh, side down to 15 health though. It might not even make a difference because before Psy might arrive at the point of interest, yeah, Sakan yeah. will just clean up and finish the round. Up it's crazy, we're not, even, XP. we're not even five minutes in and we already have three, three rounds passed in the favor of Tenga. What a stomp and what, a, what an active entry into the match. They're not trading weapons, they're just going in full force, they're picking what they have. Sakan being the most aggressive, I, fe I feel like Psy is just a backup in case something backfires or somebody starts flanking. Whereas Sonobuzu is the one that goes into the aggressive flanks, Sakan just being face forward into the enemy. And I'm not sure, Nice Guys just keeps the reserve pace, Sakan constantly just pulling in here. Right now, the uh, nice guys have been cornered into their spawn. Son of Uzo seems to have a dead, I think, at the entrance to the market area here, in a little party zone. Sees so sneaked up the, the stairs in the basement. Not sure if he will be able to make use of that point of interest here, because nobody's really close to the basement. If anything, they probably know that he should be somewhere around there. Exactly, Suna just pushed him. Direct encounter here, Suna gets shot down. This is the first kill that happens on Nice Guy's side. It's gonna be very hard for... yeah. I was about to say, it's gonna be really hard for him to make something out of this, but... Before I could even finish my sentence, Sakan just picked him off. That puts Sakan two points away from Lieutenant. Nice Guy seems... have quite a problem dealing with such an aggression. 
now they started switching weapons around. Almighty Sheep, uh, not Almighty Sheep, Rochester switched his Sedar Silence to Seas, taking the SRM instead. Maybe that might be able to dish out some aggressive damage on the end of Seas. Suna now with a dead pack in party zone. Not actually planning it, just faking it. Seas does get hurt trying to push by. Now they got the most aggressive chain out of the way on the side of Tenga. Maybe they're able to pick the round. Rod actually also taking out Sunabuzu, leafing Psy, which always has been trying to cover their backs. Psy could be able to pull this off because both of them have a very low HP at the moment, and he can utilize his smokes in order to, you know, get a bit of a an advantage, some ground to hold. Maybe Definitely. also a way to funnel or push the Mac. Rogers, this is very far away from him with one health, and Seas is just around the corner at tight. All we can do now is watch and wait for Psy to either turn it around or actually see nice guys pick up a round for themselves. Quite vital here because if if Seas or Rod get the kill and win, they will at least have one corporal to work with. Oh, Psy is getting dangerously dangerously close to Rod here. It only takes one single bullet. Oh, and Seas doing a quick peek. Yep, Seas going a quick peek here. Not even hit once. They now have their first. Actually, they have two corporals. My bad. Seems like Rod may have gotten an assist here. Seems like that uh, trade of the Zetar sounds to Seas was very useful. In this case, it did. So they're doing some now weapon switching right again. Here. Yep. Seas has both the pistol and rifle from the assault. Things will get really hard from here because regardless of them winning the round, Tenga has a full sergeant loadout here, meaning that everybody can get go and equip with at least an MX or Son of Uzu, in this case the Carabine. Sina gets sees in the alley and picks up his other silenced. So the Pushing aggressive behind. chains the aggressive chain links in the team of Tenga doing the work, sweeping up. Almighty, being the support, left behind, trying to deal with the situation by himself now. It's really hard to actually compensate aggression when you're the support, knowing that there's a bunny hopping assault and a support, uh, recon that could just, you know, pincer you in any corner. The only way the... to deal with this is the smoke, which Psy could easily counter because he has not been taken down. Exactly. But this round, uh, Sakan is the first lieutenant. Yep, and he is not really utilizing any of the lieutenant weapons. He's sticking to the MX, going the safe route, as I like to say. But there's a weapon trade of a super going into C's possession here. Maybe he might be able to push in aggressively and pick off or counter or pick off his counter aggression here. Not this really connecting hurt, here. So. Suna's going strong with his 100 HP because of the shotgun just, you know, deceiving looks with blood on the body. Yeah. And that runs over as well. That's 6 to 1 for NSF. And I, I think we're not even 15 minutes in. It's really devastating to watch. It might end up as a steamroll. All I can hope for nice guys is that they might have a backup strat for the second map if this ends really quickly for them. Because otherwise it might look very grim. It is yeah. already snowballing beyond the point of recovery if it keeps going on like this, especially that because they only they only have corporals, they don't have MXs unless um well, Almighty support will. Well yeah, but the Almighty is the support and you cannot really utilize the MX in a private state. Right, right. And Sakan is already on the other side together with Sunabuzu. They're they're just way too fast. They're holding their positions. They're getting in a spot where they can just jump a corner and pick him off. As soon as probably dead pack in this. So Almighty having the entry here, getting pushed back, but with a pincer, 
Sakan actually gets picked up here. First ghost play from Sai in this map, I think. He's now trying to make use of it, trying to foresee where they come from. It's very nice having a ghost on your side to make sure that you don't get pushed from behind. But will it make a difference? Oh, nope, it doesn't seem like it will. I go second round for nice guys. So, now they have three corporals. Almighty Sheep might be able to make use of the MX, which he probably will. So, it's going to be a bit easier for them to deal with such an aggression, having the firepower to do so. It seems there was a class swap as well. Seizes know the assault, and Rod Justice is the recon. Oh, nice guys. I have not seen Rot Justice be recon much at all, so I'm not sure how this will pan out, but he is going in right now, facing the other recon that seemingly is equipped with the MX. He's pushed by Sakan though behind the radiator. Sakan also jumping into Caesar's face. Not enough there. They now got two frags Caesar's outnumbered down side. To two health though. Two health or not, he is able to pincer if Almighty Sheep starts pushing Psy directly, which doesn't seem Definitely. to happen. So it looks like Psy is slowly going for the ghost. Probably the safest bet here because playing the objective is all you can do in a 1v2 or 1v3 situation to make sure that the cap does not happen. He's getting closer to C's here. Does burst off at Almighty Sheep, however, doesn't hit him. Seems like they know their location, but if C's get picked off or just getting pre fired, it might end early for him. But so now he has. Half of his health. Now he has Almighty Sheep in his back as well. Not a big problem in this case, because if he has a drop on Almighty Sheep, you know, just throwing him off for at least a second, he can equalize the HP. And maybe even take him out. Seems like Sheep believes he's still at the ghost, however, he's actually behind him. Yep. Looking a little bit confused there, he is now realizing that he probably went down. Yep, he probably realized that a bit too late, though. He's very lucky, though. Sai was just looking down the wrong hallway at the time he crossed. Yeah, I was about to say. Just a second later, and Psy would have dropped into his back. That's why I was saying, probably a bit too late there. Luck yep. was on his side, they take the third round, they're slowly catching up. Now I'm starting to wonder, because they have a sergeant, that means they have two MXs, maybe they can turn it around. Seems like they are using two MXs right now. Recon still keeping the GTA silenced. Nothing wrong with that, it's a pretty safe pick as a recon. Definitely. Tenga pushed up through the uh, garage, one at tight and one going through the east alley. Tenga already having fortified the main parking lot while pushing through the through the west alley, uh, south alley, east alley. Whoops, double screwed here. The east alley, of course. Takan now is just going for the push again, having some oppression through the smoke. Also, somebody else now pushing through there. Not that it really matters. Caesar's now stuck in stripe. Getting pincered pretty yes. hard. That's first game, 7 to 3. Seems like the unfortunate happenings of Sticky Feet happen there, deciding the first map in favor for Tenga. And now they get to pick. What will it be? We saw all of them try. Time. Oh. I was about to say, we, all, we saw them all train on transit before, so I would have suspected transit because everybody got a feel for it in the start. But maybe they're trying to pick the map that has been prepared on the least from both sides in order to, you know, maybe get some sort of an advantage to have in uh, preparation here. Rather picking what they believe their enemy's worst map is, rather Possibly. than their best map. My lips right. are getting dry, my speaking is getting all slurred. I might as well use this moment to... Get some water. Yeah. Well, I have it right in front of me. 